Hi, this is Dr. Muhammad Usman, and I am back with another video on the topic of MHS Basic Course. Basically, this course will be providing you the basic overview of airline airline reservation system, and I will be starting from the basic objectives of our airline reservation system. So, basically, MHS work for new travel agents and travel agents who who haven't used computer reservation system yet, and also. the person or travel agents which are shifting from one system to another or for any other person who want to learn the basics of the airline reservation course so basically uh, so first of all i will be describing the gds system which are used by the different airline airlines have most uh, diversity system of direct holding to dedicated gds companies who make their system service uh, carrier system service accessible to the consumer to the internet gateways also gds also allows the typical user to book hotel rooms rent and car as well as airline tickets they also provide you to railway reservations so basically a modern gds system allows you to do anything related to a person traveling from one place to another so the next concern it as who is amadas and why they use the gds system so basically amadas is a leading transaction process for the global travel and tourism agency they provide computer reservation services for all the organization or companies worldwide worldwide for both online and offline also they connect different travel agents worldwide and they also provide it solutions to different organizations they also help for the automation of the business processes worldwide so this company acts both has a worldwide network for connecting travel providers and travel agents through a highly effective processing platform So Amadas is the organization and the basic organization which is providing different tools uh, and the service around the world. So did you know that uh, before using the Amadas uh, and currently 120 airline websites are powered by the Amadas. 400,000 users of Amadas are uh, using the Amadas selling platform. 1000 corporate organization are using the Amadas online solutions. 217 markets worldwide use the Amadas. it is the number one in e ticketing it has 150 line 155 airline users and other than that it is in different uh, more than 150 organizations so amadas uh, amadas is a very bigger platform and uh, the purpose is that to understand the airline reserv- reservation system so there is nothing best than the amadas system so i will start from the introduction first of all when you will be using the amadas system so every amado system will providing you an office id each travel agent has its own unique office id which consists of city code corporate code and qualifier and office code so an example over here is that isb is equal to which means islamabad is a city code 111 is the corporate code and qualifier and ab1 is the office code so every travel travel agent will be having this kind of nine character code which uh, is used to identify different travel agents around the world so to know your office id or office code i will suggest that you can link yourself with our travel agent or you can go over the trial version of the amadas if it is available to you so before starting of this we should also know that the amadas system also allows different terminals to connect to each other providing through a unique eight character code called the terminal address so each of the address will uh, like over here we have 20 which is the specific terminal address and 51 is another specific terminal address and 111 b is the unique office id or unique office address so basically amadas uses the terminal system to connect to different addresses around the globe to the different travel agents so first of all you should have a office id then you should have a terminal address and moving on further what amadas uses it is the sign definition sign is basically a unique eight character code used by each each office it is basically similar like the office id it has different duty codes and several coded definitive rights of the duty basically a duty code is that it it is the functionality of your amadas system which is used for booking of airline or your meals or hotel or railways so an example over here i have that sign code is 1650 abss The one six five zero is numeric A B is equal to alpha S U is equal to duty code, and one six five zero A B is called agent sign. So basically, for more security, each sign is protected by a password. Passwords are required to be five to eight characters, 
and can be either alphabet or a number or a combination of alphabet and number and uh, all uh, uh, another thing that no space is allowed in the sign definition so basically you will be needing uh, first of all an office id and terminal address and your sign definition to perform different duties using the mls system so further mls system provides you two different modes one is the production mode and one is the practice training mode production mode is to make real booking for passengers and the practice training mode is used for uh, the practice reservations which are not available and they are automatically deleted every sunday so this uh, this is only valid for one week so what you have to do you have to learn using the practice training mode first of all then you will move into the production mode so further uh, using this mode we will try to uh, tell you about the different functionalities of the airline mls reservation system so mls reservation system has different work areas uh, which are identified by a letter from a through f associated with the east terminal terminal so like i told you there is a duty code so you need to have a duty code and a work area to identify uh, your sign so basically you can sign into multiple work area so your sign will change according to the work area and uh, you need, will be needing multi multiple work areas to enable you perform different transaction in different areas so basically amadas will pro will be providing you six different work areas which will include from hotel booking airline booking reservation booking meal change and whenever you have to select a certain item you need to just change just change your duty code amadas can be also used uh, to sign in by from a graphical user interface which look like this one so when you run amadas you can use the graphical screen to sign into amadas and the agent sign is the already same one which i have told you previously you will enter your password and you will enter your work area so you have an option from a to f and then you have an option for the practice training so basically when you will launch the amadas vista the sign in window will be appear and you after selecting the duty code password you will just uh, select the sign in and then you will enter into the amadas so i have explained this step further over here in uh, 1 to 7 and you can use them for signing in to the amadas system so first of all if you are using for the first time i will select i will suggest that you will use the practice training check box and you will enter the practice training mode when you will further enter you will get a sign in message you can check for different information by clicking on the information boxes if all things are okay then you can just click the okay and you will move on to into the main page of the amadas system so the main page will be looking like this one the graphic page is the main area in the amadas and and we are using the amadas vista so in this page you can access most of the amadas system functioning by clicking one of the tabs so each tab represent an area of the amadas system if you are not sure that a tab represents hold your mouse pointer over the over it for the few seconds and it will be telling you what that work area will do and also the graphic page also gives you access to the work area from a to f clicking on the tab at the bottom of the screen so having different work areas and having different screens allow you to work in a better way and sign into a new work area so over here we have a command page we have a vista menu we have air area hotels phase uh, document printing help AIS is a reservation system queue insurance car profile PNR and work area tab so basically when you will open each tab it will be opening in the lower in the lower scroll bar and you can just access that system so amadas has a greater number of functionality and it will be providing you every single work area so you can book for a person with no limit so when you will go over the graphic page tab you will have a PNR tab you have a document tab profile tabs AIS tab for the amadas information system so basically i have uh, given the information over here about the all tabs which we have seen previously so you will have an greater idea that what graphic page tabs are available on the amadas system then we also have frequently used items in the amadas system and it it has different options which you will see on the main page uh, different options are used to clear all the field research values to default it closes the input window reopens the input window modify the selected line delete the selected line so you will have very much greater options and you have customization or everything which you want to use so now we will be talking about making a reservation on the amadas system so basically uh, the basic steps of that 
first of all you will need, you will need to create a pnr from your profile then you will be making an air booking then making a meal request then reserving a hotel making car booking pricing the itinerary and printing the itinerary and tickets and then saving the pnr so these all steps are done from the main graphic page and you will be able to perform each of them from your profile page so we we uh, we must need uh, some of them sometime basically for just making the air booking so you can skip the different items which are not required by you so we will be moving toward creating from the pnr from your profile so first of all the step is that that you should click on the pnr tab and you will click on the from the profile sub tab and and enter mr johnson profile information and click send so in this scenario you will, the traveler is mr johnson who want to fly from london to los angeles on a business class so also he would like to stay for one week in a hotel and rent a car so in this scenario we will be just working on uh, booking the hotel uh, booking the air ticket from mr johnson and we will be moving from this tab so if you can see when you will click the pnr tab you it will ask you to enter the information so we have entered john william uh, johnson william as first name and title and last name and then we have entered our owning office id and then we have just to click send when you will click the send the pnr will be displayed like this it has the uh, travel information phone email if any frequent flight number and it will be showing you a booking for mr johnson from uh, los angeles uh, uh, to london so basically what it will be providing it will be just showing you the overall uh, the basic pnr generated for a traveler then for making the air booking you have to further move with the air booking tab when you will click the air booking tab you will enter the flight information such as from field to field to field and the departure date when you will enter that you will just click on the down arrow to activate the dual availability input screen and you will be entering details for the return flight by default the from field to field and departure date are the same as the outbound flight but you can modify any field if necessary so basically you can change the available flight schedule flights emirates travel choice direct access carrier preferred and you can uh, also perform a seven day search using the emirates system you can also enter multiple travel information like uh, you can enter the time you can enter the date you can enter the number of seats so you can book uh, different items as necessary according to the requirement by doing this further you will be it will be showing you different uh, you will click on the search to display the availability screen it will be performing you the outbound return availability displays on the same screen and you can use the toolbar to display each of the availability to move from the previous from next day to scroll through the screen so uh, when you will perform this action the search one it will show you different flights over a week you can see that there are different flights available with different flight number departure time arrival time and then duration then type of the airplane and different classes available so you can click on different classes for service for the flights he want to book so basically he want to book a business flight for booking a business flight we will be just looking into the business flight menu you will just click on a business flight and you, uh, the flight you have booked are then displayed along with the mini itinerary below so uh, if you will click on a certain flight like a137 it will be showing you a uh, just uh, lower mini itinerary than mr johnson william booking on at is below if you can see in the lower window so basically you will click on the cell to book the segment once you click the uh, cell to book the segment the segment will be booked and it will be just moved into to the final stage after that if you if you want to make a meal request you will go back to the uh, pnr page and in the service section you can click the meal icon when you will click the meal icon you will get the preferences and you can have also other services as requested by the uh, traveler so making a meal request is easy you will just click it will show you different options and you can select select the meal from the drop down list in this case we have used the vegetarian meal for the mr johnson so you will just select the vgml from the drop down menu and you will just uh, click send when you will click send it will just be linked to the traveler mr johnson now the last step remains over here is pricing the itinerary you will just click the fair tab and you will click on the price pnr sub tab and you will select 
send when you will do that uh, you can do that for the uh, single passenger like mr johnson will you know over here and you can also do it for multiple passengers so pricing the itinerary is the final step over here and offered after that you just need to uh, save the uh, pnr so once you click the final itinerary and it will be priced and it will show you the uh, final price of that itinerary you uh, in a, another page for that ticket image what you will do you will just price the itinerary and you will just uh, click the print tab after clicking the print tab you will select the ticket option and type of itinerary that you want to print and then you will click send after that you will just save the pnr and you can save just pnr uh, by clicking the save icon to access the save options you can click the down arrow and you can also do that save as and save as in different options and save changes with other uh, different options available on the MRS system so when you will select the save option uh, you want to use your PNR will be saved in your system so basically the steps involved in booking a ticket is first you will create the PNR then you will enter the traveler information then you will uh, enter the fare information and then you can change the meals you can also book hotels by clicking different tabs that I haven't uh, done in this video and I will be doing in another video so up to here that the steps were to make the uh, air booking and pricing the itinerary and then saving your PNR. I hope so you liked my video. If you like my video you can subscribe to my channel for updates and you can also send a request for any video to be made in English and Urdu for, uh, for any concept for you and I will be happy to make it for you. Thank you.